So I saw this idea on Pinterest and it really surprised me that I never thought about making my own bindi. Um, so I love making my own everything as much from scratch as possible. So I thought it would be really fun to give this a try with stuff that I had laying around. I have an empty strawberry container here because I wanted a surface that I can peel the glue off of easily. So I'm hoping that this will work. I have scrapbook paper and these little gems that I got by mistake because I thought they were much, much bigger than this. So I've just had these sitting around like I don't know what to do with them. Uh, and then opportunity presents itself. But you could use any kind of like old jewelry, thrift store jewelry, anything that's broken with little beads in it. I can't believe I never thought of this before. So you basically just put a swab of glue. And I'm gonna do two of them. And then you put stuff in there. little flower here and um, the glue dries clear so you should just see the little elements that you've put in there when it's dry so, let's see. I should use like a toothpick or something for this let's put some little glue ones on that one <laughs> I don't know how well these are going to stay, but this is just my first try, so I can always modify it in the future. These are going to be some, some crazy fancy bindies, let me tell you. Those very, very blinged out bindies. down here. You can get so creative with this. And just do whatever patterns and colors you like. Alright. <laughs> so then we're gonna wait a long time for these to get nice and completely dry. This is starting to get dry somewhat, like it doesn't move around when I touch it, but you can tell it's not ready yet because it's still white. So we're waiting for it to get completely clear. I forgot to mention earlier that I'm using a white glue, school glue it's sometimes called, um, and it's just a, a very standard glue to find and it dries clear, but it starts out white, so yeah. We're just going to give this a lot of time to get super dry before we try to lift it. Um, probably next time it would be better to use like tweezers or some other tool because you can see like this is a little bit off. But that's okay because it's our first try. I might have used too much glue. This is the next day and I still see some white. There are some clear bits but... Um, I still see white, but I think this is going to have to be good enough for now for me to try, and these things are huge, so it's a good thing there's a snowstorm today and I will not be going outside, because I'm going to glue these to my face and uh, see how long they last. I did two of them because I have two different methods I'd like to try. One is more of this glue, and then the other is eyelash glue that I happen to have from some false eyelashes that I got. Um, being a bridesmaid in my cousin's wedding. So I'm gonna peel these off with a spatula and glue them to my face. Now we find out whether using a strawberry container was the worst idea. Maybe wax paper. But I hate to use wax paper because it's bad for the environment. The uh, strawberry container is actually my roommate's because um, you guys may know I'm doing a zero waste challenge. Well, I'm trying to cut back food packaging as much as possible. Oh, there we go. Um, 
so I did not buy strawberries in a plastic container, but luckily somebody else did, so. All right, that one came off easier. Of course, that one's a little smaller. Rah, there we go. Okay, so. That one, I don't know. I don't know about this. Like I said, you can still, it's a little bit clear. This white is just from the scrapbook paper, but. It's supposed to get totally clear. All right, let's go watch me put them on. Okay, now this is not entirely a fair test because this one is like twice the size of this one, but we'll see. This has not been exactly scientific. So I'm gonna put this one on with eyelash glue and this one on with the white school glue. And when my husband wakes up, he is going to think I look ridiculous. I have not told him about this project. And it's a snow day today, so he is still catching up on his sleep. Whoa, okay, that was more than I meant that to be. Okay, that feels very firm. Um, I guess the next challenge with DIY Bindi is um, how to make it small. Probably if I use smaller beads, that would help. All right, and now for this one. They said on the blog that I got this from to use the eyelash glue, and maybe it's because it kind of is instantly sticky. So we'll see if this one just falls right off. This next one. No, well, that's working. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, this is the silliest thing I've done in a long time. I'm dropping little beads everywhere. Okay, so we'll just see which one of these lasts better. So these are staying on my forehead really, really well. I thought as I moved around like making faces that they would come off and um, they feel more secure now that the glue is more dry, obviously. Um, and they both seem to have worked equally well. The eyelash glue has turned yellow. Of course, I put way too much on there. So you could use either one and like, why buy an extra glue? Just use the the regular white glue uh, and yeah definitely make them smaller <laughs> yeah make them whatever size you want but I will if I do this in the future make them much smaller 